This is the story of Stanley Ipkiss. Stanley, you are the nicest guy. <laughs> really, you are. Yeah. His job is at the bank. You're 40 minutes late. Now, that's the same as stealing. I'm sorry, Mr. Dickey. It, it'll never happen again. He loves his dog. Come on, honey. Give him to me. Drop it. He's polite to his landlord. Ipkiss, do you have any idea what time it is? You know, Mrs. Payman. What? And the most exciting thing in his life are his pajamas. But now... Hey, you! What are you doing down there? I'm just looking for... my mask! All that is about to change. <laughs> because Stanley Ipkiss is not the man he used to be. Spoken! It's like it brings your innermost desires to life. You become some sort of love-crazy wild man. I want him here tomorrow, alive. Now you have to ask yourself one question. Do I feel lucky? Do you? Thanks. <laughs> Jim Carrey is... That's the guy! The mask. Ooh, somebody stop me! Jim Carrey is a Ventura and detective. He's the best there is. Excuse me, gentlemen. Head detective. Actually, he's the only one there is. You really love animals, don't you? If it gets cold enough. Now, the mascot of the Miami Dolphins has been kidnapped. Oh, righty then. And he's on the case of a lifetime. Listen, pet dick. How would you like me to make your life a living hell? Well, I'm not really ready for a relationship, Lois. There's no place he won't go. Captain's log, starting 23.9. Ace, get out of the tank. I just can't do it, Captain. I can't have the power. Nothing he won't do. And no one he can't handle. Hey! If you do anything to embarrass me in front of camp. What? Like this? <laughs> Captain Steubing. Because when this pet detective gets the scent. Where's Dan Marino? Hi, I'm Dan Marino. Marino, why? Because he's about to join Snowflake. He'll follow it anywhere. Here's Snowflake. Jim Carrey is. Do not go in there. Woo! Ace Ventura, pet detective. Yes, yes, yes. Ever felt. Well, I'm Bruce Nolan for Eyewitness News. Hey, wacky Bruce. Unappreciated. In the newsroom, we don't wear hairnets. <laughs> God. Why do you hate me? Have you ever thought life what are you doing over there? was unfair? Run! Have you ever complained about it? So God is picking on you? What is that? The only one around here not doing his job is you. You must be Bruce. Who are you? I'm God. <laughs> Please. Okay, how many fingers am I holding up? Seven. Aha! <laughs> You've been doing a lot of complaining about me, Bruce. You think you can do it better, so here's your chance. When you leave this building, you will be endowed with all my powers. May 23rd. It's funny, I woke up this morning and I swear my boobs felt bigger. Do they look bigger to you? Bigger. 
having fun? From the director of Liar Liar. You took the job, Bruce. I suggest you get to it. You've got prayers. Comes the story of supreme power. I've never seen the moon that big. We really shouldn't waste it. Divine intervention. Sam. And proof. I'm Evan Baxter, and here's what's making news. That heaven. <laughs> No. Has a wicked sense of humor. <laughs> that looks like my new co anchor may need a glass of water. <laughs> Jim Carrey. I who sealed her away! You had my pals for a little over a week. How many people have you helped? <gasps> but I guess you can't now. He ain't dead and all. I'm dead? Nah, I'm just messing with you. Bruce Almighty. <laughs> Actually, I've had a good long time to flip through it. Why don't you give it a try? <laughs> the number 23, a heart-wrenching odyssey into paranoia, and the most horrifying metamorphosis ever told. I'm buying this for you. Chapter 1. All I could think about was the number. I met you when I was... 23. And the day we met was? September 14th. 914. 14 plus 9 is? 23. Is it all just a coincidence? I don't know. So what is 23? There are 23 axioms to Euclid's geometry. The human body consists of 46 chromosomes, 23 from each parent. 2 divided by 3, point 666, number the devil. So is 23 a blessing or a curse? I was born at 11, 12 p.m. 11 plus 12. 23. My birthday, 23. Driver's license, social security number. It's all 23. As if it's imitating my life. You've concerned yourself with minutia and you've drawn wild conclusions from them. Every 23rd word on every 23rd page. I warn you, hell is waiting. The number. What does that mean? You know. Waco, Texas, and the Oklahoma City bombing both happened on April 19th. You gotta get out. It's coming for you. Four plus 19 is 23. This is not who you are. The Hiroshima bomb was dropped at 8.15. Dead! 8 plus 15 is 23. 13 years of lies! No more! Don't do this to us! Success. You're the victim here. Driven into the arms of another man. Seven. Yeah, whatever. One lie. Tell him it's in the mail. I ran out of gas. You're losing a little weight. At the time, the true victim is my client. Put yourself in his shoes for a moment. You're walking from church when suddenly you encounter <gasps> pouncing from the shadows. But what made him a successful lawyer? Your ex-wife called. I have to go to court this afternoon. Fletcher, it's his birthday. Also made him an unpredictable father. Said he was gonna be here, he promised. Until one day, his son decided to make an honest man out of him. I wish that for only one day, Dad couldn't tell a lie. Is it good for you? <laughs> I've had better. Now. Any change, mister? Absolutely. Um, could you spare some? Yes, I could. Uh, I can't lie. All he can do is tell the truth. Like a new jazz? Whatever it takes to focus off your head. The whole truth. You know why I pulled you over? I changed lanes without signaling while running a red light and speeding. And nothing but the truth. It was me. Your wish came true. You mean you have to tell the truth? How are we doing this morning, Consul? I'm a little upset about a bad sexual episode I had last night. From Universal Pictures and Imagine Entertainment, and the director of The Nutty Professor, Jim Carrey. Liar, liar.
New in the building? Mm-hmm. Everybody's been real nice. Well, that's because you have big... <laughs> Hello, I'm Howard Mirziak, founder and president of Lacuna Incorporated. Why remember a destructive love affair? Here at Lacuna, we have perfected a safe, effective technique for the focused erasure of troubling memories. In a matter of hours, a patented non-surgical procedure will rid you of painful memories and allow you a new and lasting peace of mind you'd never imagined possible. This is a hoax, right? I assure you, no. Is there any risk of brain damage? It's on a par with a night of heavy drinking. Nothing you'll miss. Still hated. What else is on? Yeah, let's see what else. First. Coming to you now from the largest studio ever constructed, it's the Truman Show! Yeah! Good morning! Good morning! Oh, and in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. <laughs> what if? No scripts, no cue cards. Morning, Spencer! How's it going? What if you were watched every moment of your life? How many cameras you got there in that town? Five thousand. I believe Truman is the first child to have been legally adopted by a corporation. That's correct. Brilliant. What if everyone you knew was pretending? Hi, honey. Look what I got at the checkout. Dishwasher safe. That's amazing. What if your world was make-believe? Cue the sign. While the world he inhabits is a counterfeit. I'm not allowed to talk to you. That's how I look. On your type. There's nothing fake about Truman himself. What if you didn't know it? Until now. A lot of strange things have been happening. Stand by ring cam. Is he looking at us? Does he think he knows? I think I'm mixed up in something. Something big. Oh, we accept the reality with which we're presented. Everybody's pretending to Get out of here. Come and find me. Truman? Truman! Truman! Anything happen? No. Mm -hmm. You may find yourself in another place. It's like the whole world revolves around me. Everybody seems to be in on it. I'm going away for a while. You may tell yourself, this is not my beautiful wife. You may ask yourself, how did I get here? I'm not in on it, Truman, because the last thing that I would ever do is lie to you. Fade up music. That's our hero shot. <laughs> How do we stop him? Give me some lightning. That's the best you can do! Cut transmission! I like your pen. I was wondering that myself. Jim Carrey. The Truman Show. Watch what happens. Doctors have diagnosed you as having a split personality. A schizo. I don't remember any of this. Hey! Meet Charlie. Sweet natured fella. Sweetie. It's kind of dangerous. You want to move it up onto the sidewalk, away from the traffic? You've been avoiding confrontation. But this guy inside, Hank, he doesn't. Meet Hank. Now he's a rough customer. What are you staring at, four eyes? You want to start me up? Just open the joke and pull the cord, pal. What is your problem? I'd have no beef with you. This between me and the kid. Unfortunately, Hank is Charlie. I have to take a pill every six hours or I feel funny. What's it called? <sighs> Advanced delusionary schizophrenia with involuntary narcissistic rage. From those pesky Fairley brothers. Oh, it's all now. <laughs> the directors of their something about Mary. Hey, what are you still doing here? Can't get rid of me, Hank. Hey! Hey, you're only hurting yourself! Jim Carrey. Oh, girl. 
on the greener pastures. Come on. Me, myself, and Irene. Punch me in the face. What? Don't give me one of those girly, I want to break a fingernail love taps, you know? Come on. Whip my head out. Want to hear the most annoying sound in the world? Jim Carrey, yeah, 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 yeah. Jeff Daniels, <laughs> Dumb, <laughs> and Dumber. Not the Grinch, if that's what you're thinking. Jim Carrey is the Grinch. <laughs> cable guy. Let's do this. Slip the cable guy fifty bucks. He'll give you all the movie channels for free. You're offering me a bribe. What you and in this state, if convicted, you could be fined up to five thousand dollars, or spend six months in a correctional facility. Oh, oh, please, no, that was dumb. I'm just, I'm just making conversation. <laughs> I'll juice you up for Stephen Kovacs. Hey, you guys play here too? Cool. The price of cable just went up okay chip douglas you're on my team let's play no way i'm on serious team no oh, we're not friends i don't even know you well let's fix that he's got a friend he can't control where are we going only the finance restaurant in town can i have your skin check this out silent of the lambs I just don't have any room in my life for a new friend. So, what are you trying to say? A friend who will not be ignored. I gave you free cable. The guy is a sociopath. Ah! He leaves messages on my machine night and day. You there, pick up. Pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. He shows up wherever I go. He won't leave me alone. He's going to need some tough love. There's Stephen Kovacs in here. I'm Stephen Kovacs. I didn't do anything. Just call my cable guy. At least look into it. Nobody named Chip Douglas works for the cable company. Suspicious, isn't it? You're all being fooled by him. <laughs> He's a lunatic and he's a felon. Don't mess with me. Come back here so that I may pay me. I'm here for you. Don't do that, you're gonna get me killed! Oh, Billy! <laughs> Jim Carrey, Matthew Broderick, The Cable Guy. Okay, I'm going! Take off!